We ain't dead yet. <laughs> What's up guys, this is Fireside Cigars, back again for Friday Night Fuckery. This is Josh, Connor, we got Paul, Andrew. Hold on, I gotta roll. <laughs> Chris behind the camera, and we got a couple of new guests, if you guys want to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Max. Uh, been... Never mind. You're good, keep going. <laughs> I've been, I've been uh, smoking cigars for a couple of years, uh, happy to be part of Fireside, trying something new for the first time. Word. Let's go over the other newbie. Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm the other newbie. Uh, it's good to be here. It's an honor, and I'm excited to try this new cigar. Jason. That's Tishki. <laughs> so, what we're smoking tonight is the Ashton VSG. Now, that VSG oh, give stands me a... for Virgin Sun Grow, and that actually comes from the wrapper of it. The wrapper is an Ecuadorian Sun Grow, which gives it that sort of reddish, dark brown Can't fucking that see you it. see. Now that is also going to give it a Fuck very it. interesting flavor, as we'll talk about in the second part of the video. The filler is standard Dominican for Ashton. It's a good cigar. It's probably one of Ashton's premier cigars, in my opinion. I think some of their stuff you know, lacks some flavor and nuances. BSG is a great cigar. You can pick it up anywhere between $12 and $13, depending on the Vitola, depending on where you get it from. Or Andrew for a hand job. Andrew uh, at Battleground Cigars, we're selling them for twelve ninety-five. Yep. And what uh, what Vitola do you guys carry here? Oh, just the one size for now. I think it's the uh, Corona that you guys have, right? Uh, slightly larger than the Corona. And, and anyways, uh, there's a wide variety of them available online. But if you're local, stop on by the Connecticut Valley, pick some up, and we got some battlegrounds while you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy the company too. You know, uh, I don't say this about this place enough, but uh, we do got a real community here, and that's why you go to a cigar shop instead of just buying from CI or Famous Smoke online because. Do you want to save a few bucks, or do you want to really experience a nice night out with some good people? That's why we and have the new people are here. Very comfortable. Yeah. That the one. Are are very nice. couch. How's the couch? That the couch one there, couch. that junior sitting in right there. Not that fucking chair. That chair is not comfortable. Is the best your legs are too short. No, I got no ass. It's not comfortable. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was one exception, woo. I believe all of us have a V cut right now, actually. Except for, why did you choose to cut it that way, sir? Um, <laughs> well, it's what I'm used to. Because uh, I don't know any better. <laughs> Just because you're used to doesn't make it good. Hey, exactly. Hey, so All cuts matter. <laughs> all cuts. Hashtag that. Hashtag that. That'll be on the Facebook page. Hashtag all cuts matter. Awkward as fuck. All right. Well, barring any other input from anyone, I think we're going to uh, light these up. We'll let you guys know what we think. See you in part two. It's, you're not the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> All right, let me sit back down. This is Captain. You're about. <laughs> I know. What's up, guys? So we're about varying length to our first third, but we're still plugging away at the cigar. So what are you guys thinking of the cigar so far? Let's start. How's it going? Well, um, about halfway through. Uh, damn. Great cigar. Chugging that bitch. Well, that's up because it's so good. That's Tishki right there for you, Tishki. <laughs> Uh, good solid medium body cigar, uh, nicotine, right, right, literally right down the middle. Um, a little spicy for me, uh, not something uh, which is not something I usually go for, but it's got a good taste to it. And uh, Ashton's personally, I believe, a solid cigar, especially on the mild side and or the medium side. And uh, yeah, it's going good. Uh, kind of a moderate flavor, in my opinion. We should go to new guy. Yes, yes, that's new guy. Going, guys, um, about a third down in it, and. Uh... Medium draw. It's, uh, um, <laughs> Haven't even clipped it yet. It's pretty consistent burn. Keeps the heat well. Um, I get a very mild flavor to it. Uh, subtle spice and nougat, kind of a woody flavor, almost like an oak. Um, still remains very mild, and I'm a mild uh, lover, or mild cigar lover. So um, yeah, it's pretty good. I'd like to see where it goes further from, further down the road. Thank you, sir. Y'all knuckleheads. I'm not getting quite the same burn they're getting, but um, 
I'm not a good reference, and I've said it before for spiciness in a cigar. Um, His because, palate's burnt like fucking Yeah, my toast. palate just runs right over that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, like a lonely hitchhiker on the road, I just run He's right got to give head to get to, you know, where he's going. Um, but I, I'm just detecting this very mild, sort of leathery sweetness from it. A little bit on the nutty side, but I, I detect more of a... Basil, this coffee tastes smoothiness. like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, man. Uh, ooh. I'm it still getting spice. My, co- my coffee, my cigar is still so, very spicy. I'm getting definitely a lot of the spiciness that Ryan was getting, too, and that's coming from the uh, sun grown. You would expect that. I'm also getting a lot of oakiness on the retro hail. Otherwise, nothing really comes out yet. I'm not really getting a lot of sweetness. This is a fantastic cigar. More flavors will develop throughout the smoking process. As you can see, I just ashed all over myself. I was trying not to do that until later on. But, uh, no, this is a fantastic cigar, and uh, so far it's living up to what it usually lives up to for me. I've smoked countless of these over the years. Yeah, what natural. Ah. How's it going? Uh, thus far, uh, I'd say that the Ashton VSG is uh, definitely uh, an exquisite cigar. Uh, it's uh, got an excellent flavor to it. Uh, it's got a, a, a nice uh, pepperiness to it. Uh, I'll agree with the rest of the gentlemen and say that it's very mild. Gentlemen. Uh, not too tough mm-hmm. on the palate. Uh, the draw for me uh, is very smooth. Uh, I'd say it's a lighter medium for me, but that's maybe because I got a V cut, not a straight cut. Not a bitch cut. Like a genius. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm excited to see where it goes. So we'll see. All right. Captain America. Definitely, definitely loving this. It's one of my more favorite cigars. I'm sorry, can you talk louder? It's... I can't hear you over your jacket. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's good. All right. Very, very spicy and peppery, and I love that in a cigar. Uh, behind it, you find the notes of that oakiness, slight walnut flavor to it. It's got a subtle background sweetness. I wouldn't say too mild, but for what it is, it is definitely on the milder side of wild. I like to go with, I'd say, more medium body than mild. I'd, very, I'd agree with very you Very interesting stick. I definitely like it, and... The first third's been nothing but fun. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. I have to agree primarily with Andrew. Um, I think he nailed it almost on the head. My pal is probably a little bit shot. This is the third stick of the night, so... It's a good cigar, though. Definitely is peppery. If I were to add anything to that, I still find this cigar very peppery, very leathery. I'm on the higher end of mild for this cigar in, in my pal. I can't reach the fucking thing. Um, I still find it very spicy, and it's still got a great bite to it. I think the draw is great. I don't know if you can see that. I V-cut it also. The draw, I find, is in the middle. It's not too heavy. It's not too light because I don't like a light draw. And we compare that kind of to, like, the hookah where it's a very light draw because you're not inhaling it and everything, and you're not pulling through tobacco. Um, I'm enjoying the shit out of this. It's got a good bite. It's still got that strong peppery taste, and it sounds stupid. I would compare that. I love Triscuits, mm-hmm. and I always get the black pepper, the crushed black pepper, right. and this has that strong accent to it, which is one of my favorite flavors, so that's where I'm at with it. So uh, Another thing I think it's important to know, um, when you're smoking a cigar versus a pipe, room note isn't as an important element. But I do believe that, especially when you're smoking inside like this, room notes are a little more pronounced. And this is a very pleasant room note. It's yes. it's one of the few cigars that you can do what Josh was talking about a retro hail. It doesn't it doesn't dominate. We've got all the, the we've got all the fans on, so we're not killing ourselves like we're in my basement where we get a little more hit with the smoke and stuff like that. But it does it does have a very pleasant smelling smoke to it. It definitely has like a cooking kind of. Yeah. I would I like a grill smell because you're getting that peppery smell in the air. The kind of smell that somebody's wife might actually tolerate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, because when we go to my house or we're doing this outside or our famous El Jefe that we did in the basement, if it's that epic, the, the wife hated it, the house stunk like it, and she wouldn't recommend it, I think she would approve of this one for sure. Absolutely. 
Yeah, yeah but that cigar smelled, but boy, was it tasty. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is imprinted in my basement for the rest of our lives. <laughs> that, one, <laughs> that, that cigar will be there forever. If you scratch at the walls, it, you could be, oh, El Jefe. It smells like Cuba. So poverty and cow shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. All right, so we'll come back at at the last section of the cigar, I believe. It, this motherfucker already ate half his cigar, so I mean, I'm just gonna have. It's got a great draw, actually. I forgot to say that in my portion. Uh, Trying to slow it down. It's, it's, it's got a real good draw. <laughs> All right, so you guys got anything to add before we bounce for the, nope. the last clip? Nope. All right, kids, we'll be back. Ooh. Yeah, that's something exciting. We'll be appreciate back. blades. And we're back. Welcome back, everyone. Where um, are we in the cigar, sir? We're about at uh, two thirds through it, so um, the final third. The final third, correct? Um, <laughs> it's my cigar has it's evolved a little bit. <laughs> not like Connor. No, it's, not it's, like Connor. You're, you're having a close encounters of the turd kind. <laughs> yes. Of the turd kind. Um, <laughs> I gotta hold the fucking phone, you uh, asshole. On that note, <laughs> a C uh, note, uh, brown uh, note. The spice is, is still there. Um, the leather came out shortly after. The bell is getting in the ass. The <laughs> <laughs> leather came out. You know, it's always exciting in the bedroom when the leather comes out. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Go on. Second yeah. third comes out, and so does the gib suit. <clears throat> Kink. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it's still very mild to me. Not like the uh, jokes. <laughs> Slip the man speak. Sorry. Right. Sorry. Right. Final thoughts for now. It's got the leather with the spice. <laughs> it's still mild. Uh, medium draw. Keeps the heat Ready. well. And it's very enjoyable cigar in my palate. That's right. All right, let's go to Tishki. I'm going to revise my earlier statement here um, on and, uh, definitely... Nom, 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 nom. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the hell did you do to that thing? You're not supposed to scarf down the wave and yawn, Kawaki! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go once a year. it! <laughs> so, nom, 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 nom. Uh, instead of a solid medium, I'm going to say low, medium, uh, strong, mild cigars on gentlemen That's here. full bodied right there. Uh, spiciness kind of uh, slowed down for a little bit. It's still a spicy cigar to me, which I like now and then. Um, as you can tell, obviously, great draw. I'm almost done with it, and uh, I'd absolutely recommend this to anybody. Thanks, sir. Even, even, even as a first-time cigar. Let's go to these knuckleheads. I think it's a little uh, heavy on the nicotine for a, a more of a first-time cigar. Plus, you don't give your... Uh, you don't order off the luxury menu for your kids. You give them kids, you know, start off with the mild... Chicken nuggets. Stuff. Um, anyway. You just call it Uh, no, I am not. I'm calling it Flaming Hot. He eats off the kids' menu is what he said. You see that? In perfect portions. He's got no facial hair. Chat. He still eats off the kids' menu. Flaming Hot Nuggets? That's a Chinese thing. restaurant. Hey, can I get the chicken nuggets, please? <laughs> I'd like a large chicken chow mein, a uh, cat chow mein. So, uh, for me... Uh, I'm not picking up the spiciness anymore. The opiness has come out in the cigar for me. It's still the sweet it's coming out. Taste, but uh, <laughs> the spiciness kind of, it, it had too much fun at the party. It got hauled off by the police. We're going to bail it out tomorrow morning. But um, uh, it's impressively smooth throughout for a spicy cigar. It all sounds sexual. I agree. It's it's like a prom queen size, only not quite as dangerous. <laughs> how, how do we? <laughs> so, uh, I'm definitely uh, the spiciness is still there, but it's starting to wear off a little bit. I think Bad it's hangover. more of a. Uh, it's on the uh, lower end of uh, medium cigars. It's definitely not something that's gonna kick you out of your water if you want the really intense smoke. I agree. I think it would be. For a beginner who wants something a little bit heavier, if they're interested in that, but I wouldn't jump someone off into the uh, deep end with the cigar. I do. What about the kiddie pool? Understand why you guys are getting some of that leathery sweetness because I am picking up a little bit of that too. That might develop as it gets closer towards the uh, the final third, which I'm pretty damn near close, anyways. But otherwise, not too much has changed. I'm still getting a strong oakiness out of the cigar. Still a fantastic cigar. 
All right, so where I am right now with this cigar, uh, it's the, the pepperiness has kind of taken a back seat, uh, and the leatheriness has come out uh, a little bit strong, but you're still getting uh, a good woodiness out of it, and we know that, you know, everyone Whoa, here likes a good woody. And, uh, <laughs> Not in this know, room. <laughs> so uh, the only complaint I have is that my wrapper is coming undone only a little bit, and that might be a fluke. It might not happen for everybody, I'm it's sure. because he's licking the fucking it's thing. It's not happening for anybody else. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's still a great cigar. Uh, the pepperiness is, uh, you know, it was, it was great at the start, and I'm glad it's taking kind of a backseat to the leather and the woodiness. Actually, while you're on that note, and I've been slowing, oh, look at that, see? I've been smoking this thing very slow, but this bitch falling apart like a bad date. Some anyway, <laughs> some bitch. You peel that off. So, got it. I'm getting in my my second third here. The spiciness <clears throat> is definitely fading a little bit. It's still there. I like that it's hanging in there, but it's there's just so much Thank more you. to it now. Uh, there's definitely a leatheriness to it, earthiness. A hint of, I'd say, dry fruit. Hmm. A few, a few. Uh, Was that small, a really, really off-color joke? It as well. It, um, it's getting very interesting in, in this, in this portion here. I've still got the same mild peppery taste. The leather is coming out a little bit, but it's still got a little bit of peppery bite to it. If I were to argue, well, I'm not going to argue anything, but I still. I'm still a ways in there, and I still have that strong peppery taste for, to it. For all of you, so the, the pepperiness didn't get, you know, grabbed by the party at the police. It just, I uh, drank too much beer, and it's in the bathroom <laughs> at the moment. With my bladder, that needs to go pee right now. <laughs> but yeah, I still have a strong peppery taste. I, I lost some of my wrapper. Thank you, Paul, for fixing it. Wrap it. Hey, Ra, Paul Rappa the Rappa. But a reminder here that out of all of us smoking, most of us have noted that the construction is excellent on it. you gotta, you got to remember, it's a handmade product, and there's going to be inconsistencies with it, which is fine. You know what? A lot of people will, will, will be outraged by a fine cigar that has a little bit of flaking on it. To me, that doesn't ruin the smoke, as long as it's holding together. If I may, I'd like to show. How are you guys all burning, speaking of that? Pretty even. That is, even. it's a very, very even. Are you going to show him? Very I'm going to come around everybody real quick. It's, it's a self-correcting burn. Too. It is. It's wow, he's still got his fucking label on there. Bit, let it sit for... What? Not even you 30 seconds. It's very this, even and lovely. To me, yeah. it's yeah. very well It's lovely. I mean, it's you guys have issues, you're having yeah, they're pretty consistent. Hold, hold I don't see anybody's. I don't see anybody's cigar that's burning off Kiltera. I mean, they're all. This one's canoeing very bad. There. But that's, my that's stomach, this side that... looks fine. You ever heard that canoeing joke about Bud Light? Why is Bud Light like a canoe? It's the closest you can get it to water without being in the water. Ah. No, see, I heard it's having sex in a canoe because it's fucking close to water. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. dilly dilly. Well, we all just fucking paid homage to cheap shit beer. Yay! We all have to drink something. America! Dilly dilly! Fuck yeah. Beer. Pizza! Fuck yeah, beer! Fuck yeah! Bacon! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Put that cigar back in your mouth. You look purdy. <laughs> you sure do have a purdy mouth. Well, Paul, you are a redneck, and the quickest way to give you a circumcision is to kick your sister's jaw. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to threaten him on camera? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to finish this up? How do you feel right now? Uh, real good. You want real to eat good. that? I mean, no. take, take but one thing I would add is, if you don't want to start this as a starter cigar, the Ashton Milds, top, that probably one of the top five best mild cigars out there. If you want to start that one, first and then move on to this, I would recommend that. Yeah, I, I can't say enough about Ashton as a company. The quality they have is very consistent and um, you're getting a good cigar um, no matter what you go with. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the mild cigars, so I skip the Ashton. You want an cigar. acid? Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ooh, Would any of you consider this a uh, first cigar to get into? Because I don't think I think this is a touch bolder 
than somebody that'd want to step into cigars. Just because of the nicotine contact. Yeah. I think it's fine for if, uh, if you have someone who's been smoking cigars for a little while and they want to give something new a try. I wouldn't give it to a brand new beginner as, you know, hey, first cigar, give this a shot. We wouldn't give it to my dad. Yeah. <laughs> we would, however, give it to your neighbor who's an annoying little yip yip dog keeps you up at 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, because they'd be passed the fuck the out. <laughs> All right, so we'll finish this up and give our uh, ridiculously, uh, ooh, po-po for show. Yeah, that's ambulance. It's an ambulance. Ooh, ambulance. It's an ambulance. You got a chance. Well, it hurts. somebody just got to be worse. Oh, <laughs> snap. All right, so we'll finish this shit up. Yep. All right, we'll what talk time? to you guys in a little bit. What time is it? Anybody got a time? I haven't got my watch on tonight. It's uh, 10.51. 10.51. So we'll talk about, don't forget, how long we smoked this bitch because yep. I forgot to time it. All right. It's Word. What's up, guys? Welcome to the uh, final part of the Ashton VSG for Fireside Cigars. So most of us are done with the cigar. So uh, we'll start in the same order. What do you guys think so far? Or what do you guys think of the cigar? Oh, overall, sorry. Overall, solid cigar. Great taste, great flavor. Uh, again, I, at the end of the day, I'd say strong, mild, Low, medium, right there, right there on the edge. Uh, spiciness wasn't super spicy for me, but it was definitely, uh, definitely tasty there. I didn't, I didn't get so much of the leathery taste the other guys said. Maybe that was just me. Um, and as I said earlier, maybe this might be a good starter cigar for some people. But at the end of the day, you can always give an ash and mild and work on your way from there. But uh, you know, two thumbs up. How would you rate it out of ten? Out of ten, this one I would give it a eight. Um, so here we are. It's uh, <laughs> it's late. It's late. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling very relaxed. It was a great. He's smoke. been drinking like a motherfucker. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, so the flavor profile kind of evolved a little more. The uh, spice went away at the end and it got overpowered by the leather. It still remained very mild throughout the whole uh, smoke for me. Um, it was. Yeah, very enjoyable. I'd say it's a really good quality cigar. If I had to rate it, I'd probably rate it um, seven and a half out of ten. Thank you. Canna era. I see. I'm still working on it. Um, Me too, brother. A cigar of this quality, I smoke them right down to the nub. Um, nub chub. He said chub. <laughs> and uh, yep, yep, yep. yep. I, uh, I find that it evolved. You know, the last third. Um, even a little bit of the sweet leatheriness went away, and I, I, I kind of can take a note from Andrew's book here. What I'm tasting more now is Andrew, like a chocolate, light, very light cocoa taste with some walnut and other things in there. But I get um, the walnut. Overall, I don't really have anything else to add. I, I'd give it a, an 8.5 out of 10, which is saying something because I'm usually a uh, picky bitch. Yeah, I'm a little parsimonious with my reviews. Oh, um, big word. Yeah. I'll have to put a definition when you put in uh, the... the <laughs> sound almost like the fruit for Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking dictionary. Just <laughs> some Richard Simmons type shit. So, uh... Richard Simmons. <laughs> yeah, Richard Simmons is twice the man that he is. Oh! So, oh, where's oh, oh, oh. Where's that the thing? Smoking, folks! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna work it, old lady. Trust me, you don't want to see me in tights. <laughs> no, anyway, today. we do so not. Overall, this cigar lived up to its expectation that it usually does for me. Spicy note off the bat turns into a nice oakiness with the spice taking a step back. Finishes with a nice leathery sweetness, similar to the dried fruit that you were getting. Fruit. Great cigar. Love it. Give it probably about an 8.5, 9 out of 10. On to you, Sack. So, my final thoughts on the, uh, the Ashton. Uh, I always love a, a good sun-grown wrapper. Uh, I appreciate a cigar with an evolution in the taste. Uh, as the other gentleman said, uh, gentleman going in the leathery with He's a nice polite. little bit of fruity. Um, I do uh, have one complaint, and that was just the, the wrapper coming apart a bit, and that happened to a couple of us. That happened to uh, Chris behind the camera there. The ugly guy. The man himself. Yeah! And... Um, so I would, uh, just because of the, the deconstruction, I guess you could call it, uh, I would give it a solid 7, but it is still a solid 7 and a cigar that I would have, again, I would definitely recommend it for beginners. Thank you. On to this guy. 
I, I will say, in my opinion, it had a very good finish to it. Uh, the notes, it was more dark chocolate. Again, there was that, that fruitiness to it, but bitter, not sweet. A uh, lot of earthiness in the finish, very leathery. Mm -hmm. uh, the pepperiness hung on there. I was still able to pick that up pretty good. I still feel uh, that. It, it had almost like a, a, a thick, creamier quality to the smoke. It was very nice. I just, I loved how it finished. It, said it finish. progressed very nicely as the more you smoked it. And I mean, it's definitely one of my favorites. I'm going to take the high road on this one and say 9.1 out of 10. That's because you sell and it, you slut. I would, I would definitely say if anybody's looking for a very complex yet medium-bodied cigar that doesn't have too much nicotine to it, I would say definitely go with this. It's a very enjoyable smoke. I, I think Andrew hit the nail on the head, except I think he rated a little high. <laughs> but I, I'm also usually into a much stronger cigar. This is a much milder cigar than I usually go for. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to give it an 8, eight to an 8.5 right in there. Very good cigar. Cool. Um, I, I take notes off of everybody here. I get the creaminess. It's like a good cup of coffee, which I relate to a lot of cigars. Um, I still get a hint of pepper in it, and everybody's palate's a little bit different. Uh, if I rated it, I'd give it a good... I'm like right with you guys, eight, eight and a half. Uh, I think it's a great cigar. I'd definitely smoke it again. I appreciate Thank you for the cigar. Um, this is a great one. There will be a great write-up. I'm going to have Josh do the write-up on this one because his talent for writing is phenomenal. I thank everybody for participating tonight. This was an awesome cigar. I know it's late and everyone stayed later right. than usual. Kind of looks like he's already half in the bag. Uh, no, I just haven't eaten anything yet. Mm. Um, I said, um, I'm, course, I'm, still, I'm, I'm still smoking it and I will definitely finish it. We, what time did we start? It had to be after well, 9. 10. 20-ish or around there. I thought we started at like uh, about 20. Oh, maybe. So, hour, hour and a half, which is yeah. par for what we usually smoke with a cigar. It's actually, it's a, it's a longer smoke for it to be told, I, I think. And it's, again, I'm, I'm down to the fucking nub and burning my fingers, and it's still, you still got yours. They burned phenomenal, which is a great attribute for something that I like. You want to light it once, put it down, because i got to pee 50 times when I'm drinking and smoking. Um... And it hasn't gone out. Anybody complain about it burning slow on you? It, it did go out on me once, but maybe I wasn't paying enough attention to it. Um, I don't mind that, though. I really it's nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, but, I mean, construction, as everybody here, nobody had any major issues uh, with the cigar. Yeah, so, I mean, that... Very evenly. There was no canoeing. I found mine the first well, well-constructed. I know you knew it was kind of fun. Yeah, I got a little wrapper which ripped off that Paul fix for me, but I mean, it didn't change the smoke at all. It came right back. So. It didn't ruin it for me. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. I'd like the time to thank uh, Connecticut Valley Tobacco Dish and that cigars. asshole. And um, the, uh, the campaign for the uh, you know senatorial race, Connor Holmes for Senate, a. Uh, bacon in every house and a cap in every ass. Name <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, it. <laughs> So on that, we'll uh, rock. I can't rock the deuces. I'm holding. There you go. The typical deuces, and you guys will see us on the uh, era. On the uh, various social media sites and whatever the next video ends up being. It'll be f what's the? Because this is Friday Night Fuckery. The search for more fuckery. So what will be the next one? Uh, Friday Night Fuckery Four: Revenge of the Fuckery. <laughs> <laughs> So Followed on that closely by Friday Night Fuckery Five, Attack of the Fuckery. We might lose <laughs> a fuckery, so we might be <laughs> we might be searching for the fuckery because we might get lost. Yeah. So on that note, well, on behalf of Fireside Cigars and our uh, new guests, hope everyone has a wonderful night, a wonderful weekend. We will see you guys in the next round. Team America. It's a lot of fun. Fuck yeah. Know where your children are. In bed where they belong. <laughs> Deuces.